Hello, my name is Tain Shin in Kaist from Korea. My topic is the modeling and demonstration of hardware-based deep neural network inference using memory star crossbody considering signal integrity. This is the content of my presentation. After a brief introduction about neural fixed system, in chapter 2 is about the modeling of memory star crossbody for deep neural network. And chapter 3 is about demonstration of DNA inference in memory star crossbody. The main operation of AI algorithm is the parallel matrix vector multiplication. It is used in a typical deep neural network. Inputs and weights are matrix multiplied and accumulated on a large scale to determine what the input is. However, this operation needs large amount of data and requires frequent option memory access to take large matrix data, unlike conventional serial operation. Therefore, the data movement energy problems from memory to processor become more important for these kinds of massively parallel AI data operations. Then, we need to know how the data movement energy is serious in computing system. Computing memory systems work hierarchically for efficient computation. Especially, the transferring data from option memory to the processor consumes lots of energy. Interconnection energy cost of off-chip memory access is 200 times larger than on-chip register file memory access or logic unit operation. Therefore, minimization of off-chip memory access is important to save computing energy, especially in AI operations. In the case of neural fixed system, the processor and off-chip memory are combined in one core to integrate computation into the memory. It needs only on-chip level memory access, so it has a revolutionary energy efficiency in AI calculation. Then, we need to look at how this neural fixed system operates. Conventional digital logic system takes data from off-chip memory and calculates the input and weight as a software-based method. On the other hand, Matrix calculation can be done directly by detecting a current at each column from multiplication of voltage and conductance of memory star using KCL rule. This kind of analog-based calculations are hundreds to thousands of times more energy efficient than traditional digital logic method. Because memory star crossbody has a cross-point structure with memory at each intersection of interconnections, it is specialized in matrix computation. The key to doing both computation and storage at the same time is using the non-volatile resistive memory. However, hardware-based operation using memory star crossbody has a serious reliability problem from circuit issues on analog domain. It is more sensitive because the voltage value itself becomes the result value soon. Especially, interconnection parasitic of crossbody can be the main problem such as IR drop, crosstalk, and ringing depending on the array size and operating frequency. As shown in figure, large deviation of read voltage accuracy occurs due to the interconnection resistance. So the analysis of the interconnection impact becomes essential because the Signal integrity problem affects the input voltage degradation applied to the memory star. We propose a hybrid circuit model and demonstrate the hardware-based DNN inference using large-scale memory star crossbody in terms of signal integrity problems that cause reliability problems from the interconnection parasitic of an array. This conceptual figure of Hybrid circuit model includes interconnection RSC model, memory star cell model from very low A, and inference circuit for demonstration of signal integrity effects on DNN, such as IR drop, crosstalk, and ringing from interconnection parasitic. 
This is the detailed over process of training and inference. In training, first, define the target network size and parameters. After the data generation, training data is used for the general DNA training algorithm. Then, an initial weight matrix is obtained. It is used in test inference with random inference data for checking the accuracy of the network. If the desired accuracy is not active, retain the weight matrix by tuning the hyperparameters. After several iterations, the training process ends when a high enough accuracy is active. Then, the optimized weight matrix is transferred to the memory star cross body with a proper mapping algorithm for inference. Since the array operates in an analog way, nonlinear memory stars and interconnection parasitic, which can directly affect the operation volume, should, should be considered. Therefore, nonlinear current voltage memory star model, interconnection RSC components, and additional inference circuits are co modeled in SPICE. Finally, Transient simulation is repeated for inference. Then the accuracy of DNA inference is verified with signal integrity effect. This is the schematic of overall training process of the neural network. The first step is a forward propagation that obtains the output through the activation function on the matrix product of input and weight. After getting the output of each layer, Backpropagation is processed by the linear combination with the gradient of activation and errors. Finally, gradient descent is completed by weight update from the gradient of cost function. This table shows the hyperparameters of our designed TNN classification model. The network has three layers. Each node of the input layer and output layer is 3 because this model is for a simple classification of 3 char characters 1, 2, and 3. Due to the long spy simulation time, the number of input output nodes was reduced and the number of hidden layers was increased for large scale. Matrix values corresponding to 1, 2, 3 are input and three numbers are classified through output and the nodes of hidden layer are 128 for targeting large scale memory star cross body. The rectified linear unit activation function is used for the hidden and output layers. As a result, this network achieved 99.4% accuracy on software and an optimized weight matrix can be obtained. Then, in next chapter, these networks will transfer to memory star cross boundaries for hardware-based operation, as shown in this table. First, array interconnections are modeled as unicell RLC lumped element. The RLC values of interconnections are extracted from ANSYS Q3D extractor and those are composed with unit resistance of signal line, the unit inductance of signal line, unit mutual inductance, the unit capacitance between adjacent signal line, and unit capacitance between the signal to ground. The interconnection width and space between lines are design equivalent, ranging from 15 nanometer to 500 nanometer. That physical dimensions of conventional memory star cross body interconnections fall within this range. The aspect ratio is fixed as 2, so the thickness is always twice of width. The next part is the model of a memory star. Memory stars are nonlinear resistant devices that act as both memory and processors. We use representative memory star hafnium dioxide. It is entered between top and bottom metal. As shown in this figure, when a positive voltage is applied to tin, vacancy, that is a current path, is formed and negative resistance of hafnium dioxide is generated, thereby reducing 
the resistance. This is the set process. On the contrary, when a negative voltage is applied, the oxygen pass is recombined so that the current pass disappears and resistance increases. This is the reset process. During the operation, the resistance of the administer changes due to its nonlinear characteristics to the applied voltage, unlike passive resistance. So, the hafnium oxide RM Verilog A model is used for accurate implementation from report paper. The gap dynamics are formed by the migration of oxygen ions in the mister, which determine the resistance change. Then, the gap is updated with time changes of applied voltage. The current flowing through the memristor depends on the applied voltage, the following equation of proportional to hyperbolic sign. Then, the resistance of the very low A model memristor respectively are entered at the intersections of the crossbar array. The last part is the inference circuit. An inference is just simple multiplication and addition of input voltage and conductance of memristor. However, the conductance of memristor cannot have a negative value, and the weight matrix from training has lots of negative value or complex values. Therefore, the weight mapping algorithm is used for transferring the weight matrix to the proper conductance of the memristor. We denoted that components of weight matrix SW and conductance of memristor SG. Using linear transformation and matrix simultaneous equations, then the following this output is obtained, where GX is matrix multiplication of conductance and input from the output of only memristor crossbar array. This is the final design inference circuit using an operational amplifier and passive resistance with a memristor crossbar array for weight mapping and inference. The output voltage Vb in this figure is as follows. Therefore, if x and input voltage are made are the same, the coefficients of previous transferring equation can be replaced by setting the resistance values of this equation. Finally, one layer can be fully implemented by adding circuits that represent the value activation function in front of final output voltage. We demonstrate DNA inference in memory stack crossbar according to array interconnection, dimension, and operating frequency. This is a schematic diagram of the design memory stack crossbar in terms of input, hidden, and upper layer. The input voltages are transferred from column 1 to column 100 to 108, and each voltage passes through the hidden layer, then one layer is finished, and voltages are transferred to the next layer. Finally, the same operation is repeated so that the output voltages appear from column 1 to column 3 in the up layer. This shows the results of voltage waveforms of the input, hidden, and up layer in turn. And this is the result at 2.5 GHz and 400 nm of interconnection width, and the rise for time of the idea driver is 5% of the signal period. For input and hidden layers, the voltage waveforms in the first and 64th and 128 columns are shown respectively. The further the distance from the input, the greater the ringing voltage waveform occurs due to the inductance and capacitance of interconnections at the high frequency range. These input voltages are added in each column then the voltages of the hidden layer have a larger ringing according to operation values. The hidden layer voltage of the 
128th column has a very large ring and the values of of 0 are eliminated by the value value activation function like this. After the sum of all row voltages at each column, upper voltage indicate the, the answer or reference. If the classification answer is 3, then the output of the third column indicates volume 1, and the others indicate 0. Finally, we define the accuracy and errors of operation as the following equation. Therefore, the error means the indicator of deviation from the answer, and the accuracy means the probability of classification. This shows the overall result of DNA inference accuracy in our design memory store crossbody, depending on the interconnection dimension, width from 5 nanometer to 500 nanometer, and operating frequency from DC to 10 gigahertz. There are three factors to degrade accuracy. First is the default error that appears in all ranges by nonlinear retail memory store about 5.75%. As mentioned earlier, the resistance of the memristor is changed gradually because it has a nonlinear relationship between current and applied voltage. Second is IR drop. As the interconnection dimension is smaller, its impact becomes serious because of the larger resistance of the interconnection. It appears in all ranges of operating frequency as a DC error, and the accuracy becomes up to 68.9% at the smaller dimension of 5 nanometer. The last is the ringing. This depends on both interconnection dimension and operating frequency, so the accuracy is degraded up to 36.4%. As the larger interconnection dimension and higher frequency, the error becomes serious. This ring results from the reflections that occur with impedance mismatching in the last memristor road due to the larger resistance of the memristor. Since the inductance and capacitance of interconnection are small under 100 nanometer cases, the ringing effect does not appear until 10 GHz and only the IR draw effect is dominant factors in reducing accuracy. On the other hand, the resonant effect due to the refraction starts to appear from the, about 300 nanometer due to the sufficiently large inductance and capacitance, and this effect becomes the dominant factors in reducing accuracy. In particular, the decreasing tendency of the accuracy due to ringing is most linear with frequency because the DNA inference algorithm itself consists of the simple multiplication and addition. The ringing occurring at the input voltage is increased and combined at the same rate. As a result, the effect of ringing is hardly seen up to 3 GHz in all range of interconnection dimension in frequency dependent domain. However, after 3 GHz, the accuracy dropped sharply from 300 nanometer of interconnection dimension due to larger inductance and capacitance of interconnection. This is the last page, the summary and conclusion. Hardware-based DNA inference is modeled and demonstrated using memristor crossbody in terms of signal integrity problems in a large-scale memristor crossbody. The main cause of accuracy degradation is IR drop in a relatively small dimension of interconnection below 100 nanometer due to larger resistance. On the other hand, the ringing degrades accuracy in high operating frequency above 3 GHz and the larger dimension of interconnection over 300 nanometer. Therefore, the interconnection causes crucial impact on the accuracy of DNA inference 
in a large scale Mammalista crossbody. Then the scaling of Mammalista crossbody can be limited by an interconnection problem, not a density of Mammalistas. Thank you for listening my presentations.